اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربی ضدنی علما ربی ضدنی علما ربی ضدنی علما السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آل آر فائن ہیپی اینڈ سیف ایٹ یور ہومس وتھ یور فیملیز ٹوڈے ڈیٹ از تھرٹی ایتھ مئی ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی اینڈ ڈے از وینسڈے دس لیکچر آف سائنس از فار گریٹ فائیو چیپٹر نمبر سیون میٹر اینڈ دا واٹر سائیکل Students, open your science books, page number 60. Today, our topic is matter and water cycle. Students, before moving towards our chapter, think about things that you are watching around you. Like chair, table, pencil, wall, book, etc. How all these things are formed? How all these things are formed? The question raised in your mind is, how? all these things are formed so today we are going to discuss about all matter you can see here a word matter anything that has some mass in occupies space that is matter let's take an example of a chair if you pick up chair you feel some weight and if you put it on the floor it takes some space so we find the chair is made up of matter let's take another example let's take an example of glass we pick it up and put it on the table it also takes some space and also have some weight so glass is also an example of matter The water inside the glass is it matter or not yes the water inside the glass is also a matter because it also has some weight and takes some space so the glass and the water inside the glass is also an example of matter students now move towards further information matter is categorized into three states solid liquid and gases how we can get the information about the thing you are holding or watching is solid liquid or gas let's study about it solid matter is a solid any matter is a solid if it does not change its shape by applying force for example your pencil that you are holding in your hand is not changing its shape when you keep it in your pencil box so solid have definite shape solid have definite shape now let's move towards liquid matter is a liquid if it change its shape according to the container for example you are filling a glass with water from jug so water will take a shape of glass its mean liquid does not change liquid does not have definite shape but it has definite volume now let's move to words gases gas gas is a matter if it changes its shape according to the container let's take an example of balloon if you fill air inside the balloon it take the shape of balloon you are also taken ex- you can also take an example of football if you fill air inside the football it will take a shape of football so students hope you will identify things easily by touching or watching that they are solid liquid or gases now let's study about the particles particles in solids particles in liquids and particles in so- gas Here you can see this diagram. This is a diagram of ice cube. And you can see here the particles in solid are arranged in regular pattern. These particles are very tightly packed. It means solid cannot be compressed easily. The particles in solid cannot change their position. They just vibrate at their own position. and particles of solid have less energy now let's study about particles in liquid 
Here you can see a picture of glass with some juice or water. And inside the glass, the particles are arranged in an irregular pattern. Particles are very close to each other. They can change their position. They can change their position and they can vibrate and can move from space to space. And they have more energy than solids. Now let's study about the particles in gas. Particles of gas have no regular pattern, no regular arrangement. These particles are very far apart from each other. They are easily compressible. They have high speed and they have higher energy than particles of liquid and solid. Students hope you understand the concept of particles in solid, liquid and gases. Now let's study about changes of states. Means It means how solid changing into liquid and liquid changes back into solid and how liquid changes into a gas and back into a liquid. So all this process, all this process is from a changes of state. So here you can see a diagram in which you can see solid changing into a liquid and it converting back into a solid and liquid changes into a gas and it converting back into a liquid so in you can see here a diagram in the first picture here are some ice cubes and ice cube is a solid form of water students just imagine if we put these ice cubes on normal temperature it means uh, out outside from the refrigerator it will converting into a water means liquid so this process is known as melting this process is called melting and if we put back that liquid or water into a refrigerator it will convert back into a solid means ice so this process is called freezing if solid changing into a liquid this process is known as melting and if liquid converting back into a solid means if water is converting into an ice is known as freezing and if ice is converting into a liquid so it is an example of melting now see this process between liquid and gas let's take an example of pan of water if we put pan of water on the stove the water become hot and some vapors start rises inside the pan this process is known as in evaporation and if we cover that pan with some for some time and if we cover that pan for some time you can see some drops of water on the cover of the pan that is the process of condensation it mean when liquid changing into gas it means when water changing into vapors this process is known as evaporation and when vapors converting back into a liquid that is the process of condensation students you can see here a word sublimation sublimation it is the process that solid directly change into a gas if you open your refrigerator your freezer the cool air is coming out from inside the freezer that cool air is an example of sublimation that gaseous form of air that gaseous form of ice is coming out from the refrigerator and converting into a gas that is an example of sublimation